All the Oregon businesses impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, Oregon's restaurants have been among the hardest hit. Well, there's now a documentary showing the effects of closures on local restaurants and how they've struggled to survive. Here's a quick look at it. If there aren't any restaurants, what does all of our lives look like? I mean, it's such a significant part of our culture. It's social, it's entertaining, it's nourishing, it's vital. Cor Harlan joins us live now from Higgins Restaurant with more about the documentary called Unsavory Times. Cor? Hi, Ken. Hi, Jenny. This is a documentary that will uh, premiere Wednesday night at 6.30, and you can watch it uh, by going to a link on our website at coin.com. The man you just heard talking there in the, uh, in the little splice that we showed you is Greg Higgins of Higgins Restaurant here at Jefferson and Broadway. Been here since 19, what, 1993, you said? Uh, 94, 94, January 94. Been yeah. here a long time, uh, really committed to the farm to table concept. Uh, unlike a lot of other places, you've stayed true to that. Uh, and this documentary, I'm intrigued by that because I think one of the things that is entertaining for people to watch is to watch others under pressure and struggle. And boy, that's, you couldn't have a bigger nameplate on, on, on struggle and, and uh, persevere than bigger nameplate than you've had in the last year, right? I mean, that's, that's well, just yeah, If amazing. you like obstinacy and you like struggle, this is your film. So <laughs> it's the story of what we went through, uh, we continue to go through, because that's really the bigger part of it is like this is just a little vignette of what almost every restaurant in town has been fighting through what and across the, the country. some of the operational things that you've had to deal with that people will see in this movie, down to the minutia of employees, of, of money coming in the door, all that protest outside, all that stuff, right? Well, uh, we've had natural disasters like fires. We had social unrest. We had, you know, vandalism. We had pivoting your business concept maybe five times in one year. Right. Uh, reinventing yourself to the changing you know, regulatory environment, what we could or couldn't do. Um, and I've talked a lot about over the last year about places, and I've, and I've always had Higgins maybe in the back of my mind when I say, you know, a lot of restaurants are geared to make money when they have full houses of people, 15, 20, 25 dollar entrees, good quality food that they can serve to people, turn over things. It's not it's not based for success on a takeout to go model or anything else like that. that yeah, that, I mean, that despite uh, what we all want to think, even in the current environment of being able to serve 25 percent, that's not a that's not a success model at all. It's just a you know kind of trying not drown yourself in the swamp model. Yeah. Uh, we need to move forward, and, and it's going to take some time. And uh, so all restaurants are in this very tenuous transition mode right now. We wanted to share that story. After the film, there's a panel discussion with key peoples from the industry and mm -hmm. the filmmaker and and uh, Kerry Dimchuk, who's our landlord here from OHS, the mm -hmm. Oregon History Society. And we're all working together because we feel that that's the only way we're going to get through this. And give me two, give me a minute or so on on leadership in the city and, and what you think needs to happen here for because Portland, the downtown community, like it or not, has been built on restaurants like this, mm -hmm. people coming from other places. To visit Portland, who now are calling uh, calling me up? Is it safe to be out there? Is it safe to do this? What's the answer going forward here? Well, uh, I mean, I don't mean to put you on the spot. But. Sure, but uh, I don't have simple uh, solutions. But what I do know is that downtown really needs to get revitalized. It's difficult times right now. Uh, the issues on the street are obvious to anyone who's down here. Uh, if we're going to have the vibrant downtown we had, say, 10 years ago. We're going to have to really make some effort collectively to clean the town up and get things back on track. The people will come gradually back. Uh -huh. Hotels are struggling terribly. Uh, that means business travel, tourism travel. A lot of folks who live here don't realize how big a destination for tourists Portland is, but it is a tremendously popular destination, and we need to put it back on the map that way. That's really what has to happen yeah. uh, for our cultural scene, because that's a big part of what I do. Mm -hmm. I feed people that are going to the theater, that are traveling through because they want to go to the Portland Art Museum or the History Museum. And we want, you know, if we want to have a vital, vibrant downtown, those are the things we've got to put efforts into. That's cool. Greg, thanks very much. Unsavory Times is the name of the documentary. Again, it's, it's Wednesday at 6.30. It premieres. Go to uh, our website, coin.com, for a link to the showing of that movie. And again, that will show you some behind the scenes of some of oh, this, this restaurant, uh, one of Portland's most uh, renowned restaurants right here at the corner of Broadway and uh, Jefferson. Some of the things that uh, Greg has had to go through here employee-wise, shutting down, opening up, how much capacity, 
some of the stresses and strains that have gone on along that. And this is just one restaurant, keep in mind. That's magnified by all the restaurants in the Portland area. So, uh, Jenny and Ken, this will be a really eye-opening look at what, what some of Portland's leading restaurants have had to go through in the last year. And glad, so glad Higgins has survived, though, because that's such a, a great establishment yeah, there. Yeah, definitely yeah. so. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Thanks, Cor. Well, let's talk uh, traffic and weather right now, and uh, we'll get to weather in just a moment because Kelly has some great stuff to talk about. But uh, first, let's get over to Carly Canelli with a look at what's happening out on the roads right now. Carly? And we have a couple things going on right now.